Hello, beautiful soul. I am Vicki Howie of ChakraBoosters.com. I'm the creator of Chakra Boosters Healing Tattoos and the Chakra Life Cycle System. And today I'm coming to you from beautiful Grand Canyon. It's a little windy, but it's sunny and lovely. And I want to talk to you about seven things that may be stopping you from living your highest purpose, going after your fullest and highest reason for being here. All right, so let's look at number one. Number one's a biggie, <laughs> and it's just good old fashioned fear. In particular, fear of the unknown. Now, whenever we develop and move into all that we can be, we're constantly moving into more and more of the unknown, right? Because you haven't gotten there yet. So by nature, it's unknown. So this can be scary. And I know in particular, what I hear from a lot of people is I'm afraid, you know, financially, I don't want to leave my job or whatever. Well, you're overthinking it. You're going too far ahead of yourself. Um, I always had a transition in everything that I did, right? And I would have, be making money in one area and I would gradually translate that into another area because I've had many lives in this lifetime. <laughs> I've actually done professional stand-up and I have even, I was one of the first people in the Pacific Northwest, I was the first in the Pacific Northwest to create the little sushi rolls in the grocery stores. So I've worked with food and I've done stand-up comedy, I've done different types of careers in this lifetime and this is the love of my life doing the chakra work. I just love this. But the point is you can transition. It's not an all or nothing thing. You're going to know, first of all, that you're always moving into the unknown and change your view of the unknown. The unknown is exciting. Children see the unknown as exciting. Almost always when, when they're healthy and their needs are met, they find the unknown really surprises are exciting. Adults don't always like surprises. So can you change your view of the unknown and can you begin to see the unfolding of your higher path and going toward it as a side thing that you keep doing and so it gradually unfolds. It isn't like you're ever going to need to just completely let go of a certain um, job overnight. It'll be a gradual process, okay? So first of all, fear, right? Especially fear of the unknown, fear of not being able to make enough money, those deepest root fears. Watch out for those. Number two that might stop you from living your highest purpose is your habits. Now, I've met a lot of spiritual people who think as soon as they are into something spiritually, their body's going to come along. Well, what you need to understand is even if you have a big aha and you're, you completely, let's say you watch this video and you're like, I really understand. I want to go after my uh, highest and fullest purpose. Well, your spirit might be 100% on board. But your body has created habits, neural loops, uh, brain synapses that are in certain pathways that it does all the time. And these are literal addictions that are addictions to the way that we do things. And that has come from a time when you were in more fear, when you were in your older patterns. So these older patterns remain in the density of the body even after you've made decisions to shift on a spiritual level. So you must change your habits. So here's one thing you can do. Begin to change for change's sake, for change's sake. So you can become more, uh, you can have more neuroplasticity, they call it, more movement within your brain and you're not so addicted to doing certain patterns. Practice changing things just to change them up. Practice breaking your habits. Can you create that habit of breaking your habits? <laughs> That's why I like yoga so much because it's a habit of going in and, and sort of feeling into everything and you break habits with this one habit that moves you into all of yourself. So yoga is a good one. One thing you can also do is instead of brushing your teeth with your right, brush with your left. Instead of driving to, the work, to work the way you always do, drive a different way. Um, instead of taking a certain day off, take a different time of day, go to a different place, do something different. Just keep bringing more differences into your, you're breaking up your habits, you're breaking up your patterns, you're creating more neuroplasticity. Because if your brain and your body can't go there, even if your spirit wants to go there, your body won't. It'll just stay in its old habit patterns. Okay, so look at those habit patterns. The third big thing that might stop you from going after your highest purpose is others, social pressure. 
pressure from family and friends, pressure or feelings of pressure, often that pressure doesn't really exist, of if I change, if I go after what I want, if I'm who I'm really meant to be, I will leave all my loved ones behind or they'll judge me in this way or whatever the story is that you're, you're telling yourself. All I can say is that, first of all, remember once again, it's a gradual process. So nothing's going to happen overnight. People will get used to you changing in the same way that you get used to you changing because it isn't going to be just boom overnight. Remember that thing where people say um, success is overnight for an actor or a band or something and then you hear the story? It's always, always like they tell you it's been 10 or 20 years. It's just the media that says it's an overnight success. So nothing you're going to do is going to change in the blink of an eye. It's a gradual and beautiful path and process and many people will come with you. And those that don't come with you through that gradual process probably weren't meant to. Do you want to end up in your life at the end with a lot of loved ones around you loving you not fully who you are? Or do you want to end up at the end of your life really being fully who you are with the loved ones around you who have shown up to be with you as you truly fully are? Feel into the difference of those two. Wow, that's a big price to pay to just stay with the group, the posse, the family, the social tribe that you're in now to not be who you are. But believe me, when you are who you are, others will show up. There's always love in your life because you're going to love yourself more and more as you grow into the passion of who you really are. So you're going to draw people, you're going to convert those that you didn't think that were in your life and you will get this, I'm being honest, you will lose some people. And that's, you can still love them in your heart. And if they choose to let you go, that's part of freedom in life. We have to let people let us go, but we need to continue to be on our path. And we need to trust that that is the right thing, right? Okay, number four, the fourth thing that may stop you from not going after your highest purpose, not living into your highest purpose is commitment. I see it all the time. Commitment is root chakra and spirit and higher purpose is upper chakra. So sometimes the people that are most drawn to living their highest spiritual life are the most avoidant of, oh my goodness, I'm going to lose my freedom if I commit. But we need to commit to something in order for all the university, university, universal energies of the, the planet, of the universe to come to us. God, the divine, whatever name you want to put on it will help you when you commit, when you stake your claim and you say, I am going after this, which is very connected to uh, number five, which is going after your or having or not having a vision. So if you don't have commitment, that's a problem because you're going to just give up at any trial, at any problem area. The same is true with vision. If you don't have a vision, you're going to give up. So the fifth one is have a vision. Not having a vision is going to stop you. So just stop for a moment. Do it right now. Close your eyes. I have an exercise, and I'll try to make a link right here to it, of tapping into your higher self. It's an actual physical exercise where you draw, it's like a hologram of drawing your highest self into your body and then letting go of anything that doesn't serve that and then drawing all your past energies, your ancestors, your past lives, all everything you've learned in this life into this moment and then offering it forward. So I will connect to that uh, video below in the description area below and uh, practice that one a lot. That will help you with just seconds a day. It will not only get your energy field in order right away, but it will keep bringing back your vision of your highest self because you have one. It's in there. You can't get rid of it um, that you can have come up every day and you can use it every day. All right. The sixth thing that stops people from going for their highest life purpose and just living it fully is lack of faith. When it gets right down to it, do you trust that your highest is meant to unfold? You are like a tree, right? You're a seed. And out of that seed, you're growing into who you really are. And part of who you really are is your highest spiritual self, your highest achievements, and all of the talents you came here to share. So if you just simply be you, interestingly, have faith. If you can have faith 
that being you, your full self, is all that you need, it comes. It's when you veer off the path, when you know what your highest self is. You know what you want to do right now, but you do something else. You, you make an excuse because you lack the faith of belief that the seed is within you. The seed is within you. Yes, you can't, you can't avoid it. The interesting thing is you can't avoid that truth, but you can avoid living that truth. Get it? So many people, <clears throat> excuse me, they actually go into addictions or other things because they're not living their truth and when they're not living their truth they need something to cover up the fact that they feel inside that they're not living their truth start living your truth and you're going to see a lot of um, addictions or distractions falling away in your life so have faith please that the seed is within you and it's growing through you and you are becoming all that you can become as long as you stay committed right committed to it and you don't let the fears get you in the way you don't let other people stop you right 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 and you don't let your habits you start mixing things up so those habits your body doesn't keep you in a in a uh, little box straight jacket <laughs> your body's meant to be your freedom woohoo so that's why i also recommended um, yoga for more neuroplasticity and finally number seven of the big things that might stop you from living your highest purpose is inconsistency. Now this sounds like a really tiny thing, but consistency, which is a, a trait of the root chakra, goes miles. It's worth its weight in gold, or maybe even platinum, which I believe is worth more than gold, right? Um, it's worth its weight in platinum. Consistency looks like this. Okay, let's say I go to the gym once a month maybe every other month, but once a month for eight hours because I really, really want to get fit. Man, I'm going to do a lot. And then, so I'm gung-ho, and then I don't do it for a month. And then I'm like, oh no, I haven't gone to the gym for a month, so I gung-ho and I go for hours again. Well, that isn't going to do it, as you can see. But if I take that eight hours and I'm going like five days a week for 20 to 30 minutes, wow, feel into that. Doesn't that feel different? All of a sudden, that eight hours spread out consistently makes a huge difference. I'm going to get in shape. The same thing is true of you unveiling and living into your fullest purpose, being who you really are every single day. If you're working your regular job and your highest purpose feels like it's something outside of that regular job, then every day putting, or every other day at least, putting time into this arena of what's going to develop your skills, your contacts, your love for, and, and continue to help you be committed to your highest unfolding. Okay, so get consistent little baby amounts are huge done over over time and that's going to change your brain habits into feeling into your uh, direction of your highest purpose being your actual real direction on every level all the things i've said before all the other points will be affected positively by you being consistent right with a little bit of time toward uh, envisioning. And if you don't know what it is you want to do, that first part could just be in playfully envisioning, doing a vision board, uh, taking workshops, meditating and going within, whatever it is that's going to help you get clearer on what it is you want to do. But don't think and don't let your ego convince you that you need to have it all figured out, right? Just keep enjoying and playing and going after it, but most of all, really, really, really commit. And then make sure you're not letting any of these seven points stop you, okay? Each one of them, I gave you some clues as to how you could get past them and not let them be sticking points. Because I know you came here for a purpose and I want you to live into that highest purpose because there's no other you. We need you, your talents, your heart, and whatever you brought to this world that you want to be and to manifest. <sighs> so make any comments below if you've uh, had any ahas during this video and of course I'd love it if you um, subscribe as well if you haven't already and become a part of my tribe. This is Vicki Howie of TalkerBoosters.com and have a beautiful, beautiful week. I will see you on the next video.